happened because uh, we're not here Saturday, Sunday, mm -hmm. and you know. Just two days. There's a lot to catch up. In two days. When yeah. there's. It's like. And two days is weekend. Yeah. There's one bed, there's scandals, there's scandals. many, many things. Yeah. Many, 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 many things. But like we mentioned a bit earlier, um, waking up to this news and uh, waking up to the news of uh, depot price rising from 630 uh, to 720. And then considering that just about a few weeks back, the richest black man had alleged that um, there was some sort of a sabotage when it comes to fuel production because, you know, the crude oil because of importation, like local crude. He wasn't able to get local crude, so he was importing crude. You know, there's quite a lot about all of this that is just going on. And I'm wondering that we now have the largest refinery in the world here. A lot of things are, there is a, I mean, diesel price came down because that is yes. supplying. And you cannot be, you cannot have all naturally. Okay, let me just say this. Over the weekend, yes, I saw something quite interesting. And it's not like I did not know, but, it was put up in the form of a reel on Instagram. And it spoke about the most, ex the, most uh, the strongest currencies in the world. And the first five of them, of course, dollar is not there, pound is not there. There are currencies that are worth two times the pound. Yes. Yes. And I noticed something along the thread of most of these currencies. They are from countries that have natural resources yes. added to whatever they have. And Nigeria was there once. So these countries, they have so much and then they add intellectualism with it. And so it's, it's almost impossible for you, with intellectuals alone, and not some natural blessings, to come close to them. There are currencies that are times 2.6 more than the yeah. pound and the dollar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nigeria's problems are many. I've, I've always said it, that the biggest problem Nigeria has are its people, Nigerians themselves. Because there's always that thing of, oh, taking advantage yeah. of opportunities. Now, some people might say, oh, they're opportunistic, and then some people might say, oh, it's just business. But the ripple effect is always there. When the market woman takes advantage of the customers, at the end of the day, the ripple effect still comes back to not just the market woman herself, but to everyone around her. Yeah. So the thing with Nigerians is we always think, oh, come on, this is my business. Uh, now, where we they walk, we they chop. And so because of that, we take advantage of any situation in the country. We hike prices. We hoard items, like what is happening now, because yes, for scarcity, if you're just leaving your house or you're planning to leave home, uh, keep in mind that uh, you might have a bit of uh, difficulty uh, purchasing fuel this morning. Not because the filling stations do not have fuel, but because they are hoarding it so the prices, when they go up, they can at least maximize profit. And it is very unfortunate. From it yesterday, is a regular thing that happens here. From Saturday, I'd already seen that a lot of stations were locked yeah, down. Yeah, from, yes, yeah. from Saturday. When I came out on Saturday, I knew that, you know, and then it just so happens that at times it's just very random. You know, some stations just don't, and then you, maybe you Start see that there's supply. Two together, you know? yeah. But it's so almost like a uh, 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 crying wolf somehow. So you just see them, ah, they'll do this more, yeah, they'll come back. So, yeah. But this time around, from Saturday, I'd already started seeing, and then we see this one on a Sunday morning. Yeah, uh, it so happens that. Um, we were just, our president was just, uh, like we mentioned in the news, we just re-elected the head of ECOWAS, and we do have a responsibility as the, it's okay, I don't know if, if I say giant of Africa, so people, we, we should be the giant of Africa, as it were, we do have a responsibility to lead, because, do you remember a few weeks back when they said uh, power supply to, was it Togo and Benin were cut off? from Nigeria, yeah. or even, even Ghana, Ghana, yeah. mm -hmm. yes, Ghana. Yeah. And I was like, Ghana okay, yes, that, that's, that's where we should be looking up to. We should be the ones who, when yeah. they say, uh, how, what's that, I'm looking for a local proverb that when uh, the, is it the elephant sneezes or something? When the, the elephant yeah, the, the, the forest will catch you cold. <laughs> when like, to elephants because, find the grass No, 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 not that one, not that one. The one about, sneezes, not that one. The one about when the elephant you sneeze, the forest will when catch you catch cold. cold. Mm -hmm. Because of how much, when you look at, uh, uh, you know, the, the ecosystem and how much we are, we are, you know, the ones who should lead the way. Our, our elephants, and obviously, we, we, they, have a, they have a flu, a permanent flu. It's just to be brief. And, then, and, and the grid only, when you mentioned the grid, yeah, by the time the grid collapsed, some people still had lights at the end of the time. So, when sorry, it, it before, the, like, before the grid collapsed, some people did not have lights. Like her? Like me. Mm. Seriously, I literally, we've not had light since like Monday. What band are you? Like last, I don't even know at this no, point if we're the band. I think we're dangling. No, no, band but before, F is, we so don't have band. So like, since like Monday last week, no light at all. 
like at all. So funny enough, when I, um, the grid collapse situation came out, so my husband thought it was a situation of where, okay, the grid had always collapsed and we're just getting to, I'm like, no. I want, we are not on the grid. Exactly, we are not on the grid. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Was there, is it because an now that is, is, so we, that's the thing we don't, so normally they actually send a circle around, but now we don't even know. No circular was sent, every, nobody seems to know what's literally going on. So now with the grid collapse, I'm like, okay, I wasn't having hopes, that, okay, at least bad as bad is one week now to give us mm -hmm. light. So after the collapse, I'm like, okay, you know what? There's no even think about still no that and all of that. Still no lights and all you, of that. You, so it's just funny. So because yesterday I had the same conversation with my husband talking about, okay, why? And of course, um, Halima literally, our, one of our producers, literally just mentioned it again. Why does it seem as if the Greek collapse kind of co coincides with um, hiking price? Well, mm. gold price. So it just it's seems as if it, it's, it's kind of... If you look no, at it, like there's a, a pattern, <laughs> yes. Yeah. If you look at it, it's not yeah. really... It's not so the, it's, you that, say a theory per se, if you see mm -hmm. a pattern. A pattern. And then when you, you, it has happened once, it's happened twice, it's happened thrice, mm -hmm. and then you start thinking that, how are people... And then we live in a country where, like you said, a lot of people take advantage of situations of to make extra money. Yeah. Yeah. And so it does happen it's that, how does this now. always happen? How does this always happen? I, can make, I, I mean, if I think, really should think about it, it makes sense mm -hmm. because there's no lights. People literally are running homes, running businesses. They definitely need power, so they have to buy the fuel. Mm -hmm. So you know, it kind of puts them, drives the market in a certain direction. What, what I find really worrisome about all of this is the fact that it always seems like when these things are happening, people get away with it. We have, yes. I keep mentioning the Price Regulatory Commission. I keep mentioning, you know, agencies that are supposed to dig deep into all of these things, probe, honestly, do a, you know, conduct a, a very honest probe as to what is going on. And I do not think the work is being done the way it's supposed to be done. This is my personal opinion. I, I believe that a lot more could be done like, I cannot wake up in the morning and decide to peg a price on something and then get away with it without anybody questioning me as to how. To be, to be honest, Maria, as much as I feel your grief and I feel everything you're talking grief about, right? <laughs> no, I feel your pain now. I mean, we are here. I mean, it makes sense. Why should literally marketers literally just wake up and put any price they want and then is that you buy it or you leave? It doesn't make sense. However, I, I feel that behavior is being enabled. Mm -hmm. Let's bring it back to the grip collapse. In the past six months, our grid has collapsed a number of times. Mm. We are not hearing that anyone is taking a fall for it. We are not hearing that anyone exactly. is being held accountable for it. Yeah. It's just like, okay, the grid collapsed. Okay, sorry, we are putting it back together now. Yeah, move on. If li people are literally like being, being held, I don't know, accountable. You know, held accountable and proper... That See, is, you I, will, do you understand? It's I like, okay, fine, what is costing it? Is there even a, are we even trying mentioned. to find out why it's re repeatedly happening? As a country, we are generating, what, maximum of 5, 4.5 GW uh. of power, right? We well, have some countries exactly. where so, they are I mean, shutting down power plants because they are generating too, too much, much electricity. Too much. My head won't blow. Now, you know, I find sense. it worrisome <laughs> that for a long time, sense. Nigeria has been supplying neighboring countries. Yet, the Nigeria itself, does not oh, just... have enough power supply. There are so many things to consider, and I really hope something is done about this. It, the least people can get if people know to that make life are... easy. Nah, electricity, it... like electricity, is it should be basic really just because a lot of things and surround and nah. involve the usage of electricity. It's the least we could have. If they put the military to charge to. to... Let's, okay. This bridge um, at this again. point, let's see. We, let's see what. Seriously, if someone's actually taking the fall for it. Really, so if you know your your job, your livelihood, and maybe your life is at risk, you will make sure that that grid does not collapse. Mm. But mm. there is Nigeria we are in. This grid, this grid is collapsing. Maybe it's milk and malt will give the grid. I don't know. Ugu leave. Ugu leave. Now. Yes. Correct. Fresh one. Mm. Right, what are your thoughts? Just let us know in the comments. We'll be back after this timeout.